So we're now ready for step three, which is to do the activity on Spark 3000. Um, hopefully at this point you've read the article and you've hopefully read it maybe two or three times to really make sure you understand it. And hopefully you've used a strategy such as highlighting or maybe using a graphic organizer or taking notes um, to make sure you're really understanding the article well. Um, so I've gone through the article and highlighted a couple of important points that I think are um, um, things I wanna focus on and I'm ready to move on to the activity. Note that there are two ways to get to the activity. I can click on the activity button down at the bottom or I can go up to the top to this tab here um, where it's um, activity step three and click there. Now, um, I want to focus on uh, a couple of things here. First of all, um, there is a time limit for this activity. So um, the activity is eight questions and it's like a quiz um, asking you different types of questions to show um, how well you understood the article and um, the language in the article. Um, so the time limit is 26 minutes. Um, so what we'd like to recommend is that you take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes um, as a goal for the amount of time it would take to do um, an activity quiz like this. That gives you about two minutes or so per question. Um, and that's uh, a good amount of time to be able to think about the question. Um, so if you're going too fast or too slow, um, that might have a negative impact on your Lexile level um, because you want to make sure you're getting most of the answers correct as best you can. And um, you want to make sure that you're taking your time. Um, on the other hand, you don't want to take more than 26 minutes. And that means you should really try to focus on the activity and do it all um, in one sitting at one time. A couple of tips and tricks that can help you while you're answering the activity questions. Um, you have at the bottom of your screen here the number of the question that you're on. You also have this button, refer to article. So that's very helpful that it allows you now to have two windows. You can see the article comes up with your highlighting, so that's convenient. And that can help you to go back and look at some of the um, sentences or details in the article and then help you make a choose a better answer here. Um, uh, I forgot to note that the time limit starts after you have submitted your first answer. So um, right now, uh, the time limit has not began, begun, but if I click Submit, that will start uh, my 26-minute time limit. Um, so again, referring to the article can be very helpful. Um, but right now I have the article here and the question here, and it would be nice if I could see both of them to be able to compare. So um, here's a quick tip for getting a side-by-side -side view. You can go down to your um, taskbar down here and right-click, and you'll see this menu come up. Um, and you can do this, show windows side-by-side. And there you can now see the article over here and the question here. Um, if you want to move your windows, you can click and drag them to move them. For some reason, it seems to make sense to me to put the article on the left and the question on the right. But whatever is convenient for you and helps you to answer the question um, in, a, in, a, in an easy way. Um, there are a lot more tips and tricks about um, strategies that you can use to answer the different types of questions on Spark 3000. Um, and we'll do a lot more lessons about different strategies to answer different types of questions um, related to different types of reading skills. So look for those future lessons, but I hope for now you're ready to start uh, with the activity questions and be successful on your first quiz with Spark 3000.